Hi, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and uh, I make apps. Now today, let's talk a little bit about non-disclosure agreements, NDAs. <laughs> Okay, so today I'm driving down to Winchester, which is about an hour away from the office to visit with a possible new client, right? I've mentioned this before that if you can meet with clients in person, you probably should. It's so much better than talking to them over the phone just because you can, you know, sketch out ideas. You get that synergy. You're working together. You know, you can draw a diagram. I'm always scribbling things down on a piece of paper. But as I mentioned before, the biggest benefit of going to visit clients in person is that afterwards, Burger King. Okay, so the meeting went actually pretty well. Uh, they were excited about it. I'm excited about it. It's going to be a really cool project. I'm kind of eager to get back and start drawing up the specification and the quote and all that kind of stuff. You know, really excited. I'm actually, I was going to do this a video like within Winchester, but I couldn't find a good place to, to stop the car because all these one-way roads. So I'm just parked over the side of the road. Hopefully the traffic's not too, too loud for you. So, but one of the re reasons I can't talk about this project that I was working on is because I think I'm under an NDA. I'm pretty sure I'm under an NDA for this one. In fact, for most projects, I'm under an NDA. And if I'm not under an NDA, I just assume that I am because you know, some people don't think about it and you kind of have this, this uh, trust between your client and yourself, right? So, you know, I get asked to sign so many NDAs that I'm kind of like, I don't remember, I don't even know what I'm allowed to talk about sometimes. So I just, I don't say anything about any, anyone. You may notice I never talk about my clients by name. I never talk about any of the projects I'm working on for clients. If you go to our website, there's no clients listed there because well, one of the reasons is I don't want any competitors to go in there and just say, you know, just start picking off clients saying, hey, you know, I understand you have an app, you know, are you happy with the work Overpass is doing? I, so that kind of stuff. But there's also the whole, you know, non-disclosure agreement. I kind of feel like, you know, sometimes I feel like I signed so many NDAs. I feel like in the movie Goodfellas, you know, they weren't able to talk about anything. They'd always say, the thing with the guy, the guy in the, with, you know, and then we would just say, so that's the way I talk now. I said, the project with the such and such. So anyway, so you know, one, I once read a, a blog post, I think it was by, an, it was another app company and I was reading their blog and one of the developers there said that they won't sign an NDA unless they charge a fee. They would charge like a hundred pounds to, to do an NDA, which I thought was kind of strange because I just do NDAs for free, but I kind of, I, I just, I admired the, the cojones on the guy just saying, yeah, you know what? If somebody asks us to do an NDA, we charge them a, a hundred pound fee before we'll even do it because we have all the, you know, because they're legal, it just, it's just more work. And that's actually, you know, something that I've been thinking about doing, or at least when somebody comes to me with their own NDA. I mean, I have my own uh, non-disclosure agreement that I'll send to them, which is just boilerplate and I don't have to read through everything. And one of the early warning signs that I always find with working with a client, if they start to nitpick about the NDA, because to be honest with you, I don't. I don't really mind signing it. It's just one of these. One of these things. I mean, part of me is a little bit afraid that you know uh, that we might have a like. I've had. So, I've had one project that keeps coming up, and everybody's like, nobody's doing this, right? And I've heard the same idea from like three different people, right? And I and I turned the second and third down because I'd already turned down the first one, and I don't want any confusion as the you know he stole my idea or you know the, he passed this idea onto somebody else. Because you know, as you know, my, my whole opinion is ideas on their own are worthless. You know, uh, we all have several ideas. If I if I talk about an app idea, like I did one where I talked about Uber for babysitters, right? That was one that I know that I haven't. Nobody's brought that to me. But I'm kind of curious as to how those of you who work with clients, what is your uh, opinion towards NDAs? Do you just sign them anyway because it's you know, I mean, 
the the whole thing when you're trying to sell the services to the client, in my opinion, is that you're trying to put them at ease. You're trying to make them feel like, you know, uh, you know that you're not going to take anything from them. Because to be honest, you know, you guys know what it's like. You guys, you know, when you're so busy, the last thing you're not just waiting for ideas to land on you so you can pounce on them. You're you're busy working on other stuff. And when you take on client work, you you do that work for them for for a cost. Right. So, you know, for me, I have no interest in stealing anyone's ideas. I'm sure you guys aren't either. But a lot of people are really, really, really suspicious of that kind of stuff. So what do you guys do to our NDAs? My policy is, you know, put it in front of me. I'll sign it. I'll, you know, I'll glance over it. It's easier when I'm the one who brings the NDA into the relationship if they ask for one. But, uh, you know, for those of you who do work with clients, do you have a do you have a policy on that? Or do you just, you know, do you just sign everything like I do anyway? That's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.